So family, under Truth and Lending, we're not only able to hold them criminally liable for willfully and knowingly reporting false or inaccurate information or failing to disclose proper disclosures that are required under Truth and Lending, but also we can hold them civilly liable and pursuant to 15 U.S.C. 1640 in an amount equal to the sum of any actual damage sustained by such person as a result of the failure. So if you guys have been denied housing, how much was the mortgage loan that you guys were applying for? That was the damage that was done. How much was the auto loan that you guys were applying for that you guys were denied and you need that auto loan and that car to take you to and from work? You need the housing to put a roof over your kids, you know, heads. You guys define the damages that were done and the amount of the damage that, you know, came from you guys being denied, came from that account being closed, came from them reporting false or inaccurate information, which stopped you guys from getting approved you know, a certain line of credit. When credit, as we know, in pursuance of 15 U.S.C. 1602, is the right granted. So we're granting these corporations the right. It's our God-given right to receive credit. Deuteronomy 15, you will lend to many nations, but borrow from none. So how can I be denied something that I'm giving to them in the first place? See, we are the power. We are the battery. All these corporations are is simply extending credit. Therefore, they are the extension cord. The extension cord don't have the power. The battery's got the power and we are the battery. So I want to make that very clear. And I want you guys to understand that. And then 2A within 1640 talks about in the case of any of an individual action, twice the amount of any finance charge in connection with the transaction. So what I want every single one of you guys to go out and do is I want you guys to get a truth and lending disclosure. Peace and love to my brother Taquan X. I see you tuned in, brother. I see you tuned in. Let me show you the little setup that we got rocking out right now, bro. All right, let me stop this video too real quick. I just had to say what's up to you real quick. So we got the webcam, the 4K webcam. Let me show you. We streaming right now in OBS. OBS two official so we got the whole screen showing and whatnot on instagram and i got a little picture of me in the corner then we got the camera the 4k camera right here as well too man so we get into it brother we get into it yeah just invested into all this man great investments got a little tripod that we up right now we're about to lock uh, my phone i'm about to end this live so i can save it consumer log king I mean, see, I got to come up with a name for you, bro, because a lot of this and me diving into this consumer law really stem from your channel and, the, and your teachings, you know, on how to operate within the private, on, you know, changing your status, on getting out of the jurisdiction of the United States. And it really just led me more and diving deeper into consumer law. So, you know, very grateful for you and your teachings, bro. All right, camera. So 2A. Talked about in the case of, so as I'm, I just read through that. So what I want everybody to do is I want you all to go get your truth and lending disclosure. So within your truth and lending disclosure, and I want everybody to get familiar with the determination of a finance charge, which is 15 USC 1605. All right, that's going to break down very clear what a finance charge is. So right here in 1640, we talked about already holding these corporations criminally liable in pursuance of 1611. Now we're talking about holding them civilly liable. For twice the amount of any finance charge in the connection with the transaction for any violation within truth and lending. So it's not just like these other sub chapters where it's a thousand dollars per violation, but we're actually talking about twice the amount of any finance charge per violation within truth and lending. So not only can we hold them criminally liable, but we can get in and or $5,000 per violation in pursuance of 1611, but within 1640, we're talking about twice the amount of any finance charge. That should show you the power that we have, and that should show you the power of truth and lending as a whole. Come on, family. 